Karibuni lamu, lamu tamu, naipenda lamu, pole pole, hakuna haraka, haraka haraka, haina baraka, pole pole, kisha Karibu naipenda lamu. Karibu lamu, ladies. Ah, asante. To be the salt boys in lamu. Yeah, the <laughs> island of peace and harmony. <laughs> Thank you. Karibu, romantic. On the previous episode of Exploring Lamo Old Town, now let's go to part two of this video. <laughs> I want to try and live like a Swahili lady for a day. Let's see how this works in the streets of Lamu. Africa. Oh, this Kenya, Uganda, oh. is Everything is closed today because it's Sunday. The door. It's so beautiful. I need to take a picture there. You take me. We are approaching Lagoon House. <laughs> Now we are on our way to Maulidi Mosque, the biggest mosque where people come from all over the world to see it. It's called Maulid, Maulid Mosque. Yeah. <laughs> How am I doing with the Sahili vibe? <laughs> We call him small maker, East Africa maker Muslim College. Every year, mm -hmm. the old Muslim from Uganda, Tanzania, Nairobi, uh, Zaire, they come here from Maulidi, from Even Muhammad. Even Yemen. Huh? Yemen. Yemen here, yeah, Morocco. Yeah. When people, they came here for big celebration, Muhammad, yes. and then this place here, they prayed, prayed different times for three nights. Oh. But at that time, mm -hmm. you can see the town is very cloudy because there's so many people. And people sleep in the roof. Oh, well, that thing that says when you go to Rome, you'll be like Roman people do, or something like that. So, how do you see my outfit for today? Yeah, so I need lesser. And as you can see, I'm here I'm telling things wrong because I'm so tired right now. I've been working. Can you, you want to see my slippers for today? This is my working shirts, working sandals. Muslim college where people come to study for free and if I was like a Swahili lady if I would be coming to study here yeah I'm telling you I'm living for these streets the streets are amazing it's different Downtown, living life. Walking downtown and living life. No, in the very last house, we come back to Tambo. But in the last place, we don't have much job. Yeah. Only eating, sleeping, <laughs> and love. That it's means, Lamo, there's no car. You see the donkeys? I rode a donkey. If you happen to watch that video, just it will pop up here. 
which is Department of Social Development, Lamu. How many schools are in Lamu? There are many, yes, like, sorry. or like mm. there are one, one? Yes. Oh. And how is the population here? 25,000. 25,000. 25,000. Include Shela and Matondori. Oh, Lamu only. Yeah. It has 10,000. 15. Of hmm. water supply. Water supply. Water supply. What a lala. <laughs> oh, Doki Rafaya Divi. No. Oh my god, in Aga. In the Quaker, Donkey. Namchanga. Eh, you're the Kali. Thank you, guys. 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 Thank you, <laughs> we are in Swahili village and I have to respect it. And we are like this. Coconut, mango, cashew nut, and tamarind. So, in the house, they use with the mangrove, with the sand, with the stone, with the grass. But 25, 25 years ago, this village became a problem. You know, here in Lamu or Kenya, some years, May and June. Some years we get a lot of rain, like El Nino. Oh, oh El Nino. Time, when you get a lot of rain, like El Nino, the water is polluted over there. Yeah, yeah. And then you can see some houses still in the water. And then you can see there are plenty of fish like this. Oh. We don't have to ah. buy. <laughs> but, <laughs> we have, but, but we have to move the house up to dry. Every day you get a free fish, and the fish also will get a free accommodation. <laughs> that, is, that is good <laughs> and bad. Accommodation. That, is good, that is good and bad yeah. because they take them to dry. Not every year. It is all one. And then, uh, uko, 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 is forest. Any, any forest. Yeah, forest. Coconut, it's a coconut forest. Coconut, all is coconut, mango, cashew nut. You see the many coconut? Yeah. Yes, you have the best tour guides ever. That's like a coconut paradise and mango paradise. All in one. Now, guys, wait. I mean, find good lighting. Okay. Now guys, we are going to Lamu Old Town. Give this video a big thumbs up. So this town, long time ago, midday like this, midday like this time when it's hot, here it is cooler. You see now, yeah, it's cooler yeah. because the building is covered. So by that time, after breakfast, the family from that house like me and the family from this house like me, after breakfast, we sit down with your neighbor to talk all day. Because long time ago, people don't work. People are very rich. Now? The the people become by train. So people they come from Yaman, from Yaman, from Yaman, Kasha. So at that time, people are very rich. All day sit down like this and talk to my neighbor. Why do you sit down? Why do you take care of your neighbor? Why do you get a car? You live there and me, I sleep here. <laughs> Yeah. Nowadays, no more. Because no more. nowadays, most people, they are young. So young people, they don't have money. Yeah. Everyone is running to look after money. money. Another thing, mm. nowadays, mm. if you want to come to visit this house, you knock the door, the men is coming outside. Women always sit inside, not allowed to see the woman. Oh. Only men. Oh. You sit down with your neighbor, oh. you talk, then everybody go back. Okay. So. Mm. Nowadays, this uh, the story I'm telling you is about nowadays. Mm. But long time ago, it's not that. Come here, I want to show something, all of you. So long time ago, mm -hmm. when you want to go to visit your neighbor, mm -hmm. so you don't go through your door, you need to go anywhere. Mm. Look up. Long time ago, we have a connection, like a bridge. Yes. I, I think you understand. Yeah. You're from this house, another house, another house. Connection. Uh -huh. 
Umefahamu? Umefahamu kabisa. Au umeelewa? Eh. Unajua Kiswahili yenu pengine inaenda na shetani. Hatuna elewa. Yetu mbaya kabisa. Zamani watu walikuwa wanapita juu kwa juu. Eh. Hai. Like how long ago? Centuries. Like centuries.
like drainage like it's going you follow it up to the sea front you'll get to Kenyatta Avenue see what I'm yeah that's the greatest tip from the yeah. hello Calabash. Santi That little child just told me I look so cute. You know when children say things like that, they mean it. So this is Calabash Gallery, and they sell like silver, cowries, and Maasai shoes, really, and art. I keep on Kanyagari donkey feet. Okay, guys, Lamu Nitamu Kweli. Like all these buildings, they make you feel like you are in the old century. It feels so good to be here. Like I feel I belong here. It's really cool. Akuna pole pole. Kila kitu pole pole. Akuna raka. Tumefika old town. Ama bado. Aya. Oh. Nafikiria tu. The old town and the tour is almost on. And if you like this kind of video, historical video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you want to see in Lamu. I'll do it for you. Lamu ni tango, na Lamu ni pole pole. Hakuna raka uku. And I congratulate the Swahili ladies for always wearing the laces. I can't. Iyo joto yote imenishinda. So I'm sorry not completing the challenge, but I know you understand. <laughs> I told you, I can't get enough of these old dolls. They're so cute and romantic. <sighs> oh, amazing. And I can't get enough of that donkey. I rode a donkey also. We have reached the ocean, Indian Ocean and Kenyatta Avenue. We've reached here. Donkey Sanctuary. Oh, this is the Donkey Sanctuary. Donkey sanctuary. The famous Donkey Sanctuary. What, well, what do you mean when you say sanctuary? It's like well, a hospital. Hospital, yeah. For donkeys. Like Lama yeah. people don't play with well, their donkeys. Donkey yeah. Sanctuary. Can you see the donkeys? I felt bad riding a donkey today. I felt like, oh my god. <laughs> but it's so common here. It's a form of transportation. And we are finally at the Indian Ocean and the famous Kenyatta Avenue. Yes. This is the Donkey Sanctuary. It's on Kenyatta Avenue. This is Kenyatta Avenue. On Kenyatta Avenue, and this is the Indian Ocean. That's jetty where people get carried from Mkoe mainland. That is Manda Airport. If you come by plane, yeah, we can buy plane. If you come by bus, let's go from there. Mainland. Oh, Take mainland. about half an hour, 20 yeah. minutes. So different, there's different transportation on how to get to Lamu Island. You can come by bus uh, from Mombasa to Lamu. Or from Nairobi to Lamu. This is also Nairobi? No. Yeah, from Nairobi, uh, from Mombasa to Lamu, it takes like eight hours. Mm. And you can fly direct from Nairobi Airport to Manda Airport, and it takes only one hour. Yeah. yeah. Ah, la, 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 la. Thing over there. Petlis Inn. The population for donkeys is 2,200 in Lamu and it's the main form of transportation. Other than that, there are only seven cars that can only pass through Kenyatta Avenue. Most of it is walking by foot. Yeah. 
Almaria. This building yes. and the Lamu Museum. Yes. The first building from 1813. Uh -huh. A long time ago, is a big family live each house live. like this. Oh. Now it's the only school. Oh. The door is 200 years old. That door the is 200 is a, years old. It's a local wood, it's African mahogany. Hey, I need to all, take a picture here. Yeah. I love history so much. Like, old history amazes me, and I'm always reading stuff from old books. And I can't believe I'm standing next to a 200 years century or something door made from African wood. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> Lamu office, this is a mosque. So, as you can see, we've just passed um, Silverstone, Kaiwa Express, Lamu office, and now we are going to another mosque. Oh, Lamu Museum. That's Lamu Museum. And they're almost going back to where we... Oh, and there's also a ca Catholic church. Huh? Yeah, yeah, and Mejua. And this is Jeti, the famous Jeti, the main... Oh, is it the main port? Yes. It's the main port in Lamu. This is the progress that is right now. Lamu Museum. Yes. Hey. If you come to visit here, the same ticket. You'll get. You can go to the Lamu Fort. Oh. Maybe after lunch. After lunch. Yes. The Lamu Fort is open. Yes. Until okay. five. Until five. Yes. Even tomorrow, we'll go Every tomorrow. Every day. When are you leaving? Hey, it's for touching. No, EOC could use the... We're approaching, there's a Catholic, Lamb Catholic Parish. This is the only church here for Catholic. That's church. And now we're heading back to the hotel where we are staying. It's just near Ikuchi Bank of Kenya. This is the main port in Lamu Island. If I haven't told you, it's called Jetty. And I can feel the breeze. I think I'm going to eat something. I don't know if you can come and eat here. I'm so hungry. True, this is to stop here. Mama? Yeah. Uh, you want to stop in the hotel? Yeah. So now we are heading to Lamu Palace. It's another one of Ivor's place. The host who hosted us on his Airbnb. He has like a couple of beach houses from Lamu to Malindi. Yeah, we put all the contacts of the Airbnb down below. Yeah, now we're going to eat something. We're looking for street food, but street food only comes at around 4, 4 in the evening. So we have to take lunch now because it's 1 p.m. We've been working since, I guess, 12 or 11.30. And I love Lamu. <laughs> Island girl. Madam. Yes. You know Salas Hotel? Uh, the green. Yes. Tree. The here, green here. Tree. The yeah. green here. Yeah. I want to leave you here. Okay. I want to go to pray. Okay. I will give you the Yeah, if you are ready to go to Shell, you call, call you. me. Yeah. And then you call the hotel. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Happy, happy. Uh, welcome, Lamu. Niam Vietana. Ah, Santi. And when you are in Lamu, Contact with the 
for tours. It's really good and it gives tips on how to get to Old Town, Lamu, Shela and everywhere. So I'll put his number down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Bye.